Harris holds slim lead over Trump in new survey. Vice President Harris holds a slim lead over former President Trump in a new national survey from The Economist and YouGov. The survey, conducted over the last four days, shows Harris leading Trump among registered voters, with 48% support to his 46%. Harris also leads Trump among likely voters, with 49% support to Trump's 46%. No other candidate gets more than 1% support in either group. In both groups, 3% of respondents say they are unsure how they will vote. Among registered voters, Harris leads among ideological moderate voters, with 55% support to Trump's 35%. However, when looking at party ID, her advantage narrows among self-identified independent voters, with 45% support to Trump's 39%. With the election less than two weeks away, the pool of persuadable voters for either campaign to win over grows increasingly narrow especially as early and mail-in voting has already begun in many states. Among registered voters who say they intend to vote for Harris, 2% say they could change their minds between now and the election, 3% of registered voters who say they intend to vote for Trump say the same. On whether registered voters would consider voting for Trump, 50% say they would and 50% say they would not consider it. Sign up for the Morning Report. The latest in politics and policy. Direct to your inbox. Email address. By signing up, I agree to the terms of use, have reviewed the privacy policy, and to receive personalized offers and communications via email, on-site notifications, and targeted advertising using my email address from The Hill, Nexter Media Incorporated and its affiliates. Harris has a slim advantage on that question, with 53% of registered voters saying they would consider voting for her and 47% saying they would not. The latest poll is somewhat consistent with the national polling average from Decision Desk HQ The Hill, which shows Harris leading Trump by 0.9 percentage points, with 48.7% support to his 47.8%. With much of the country set in their voting preferences, the race will ultimately come down to a small number of battleground states, where both candidates' electoral votes are still in play. The survey was conducted October 19 to 22, 2024, and included 1,422 registered voters. The margin of error is 3.2 percentage points.